Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. All right, I know it's not a great looking day out there, but compared to what this could look like in early, late January, early February, I think we can uh, accept this sort of dreary day in place of like a major ice storm or a blizzard or something, you know, can be certainly quite active this time of year. 38 right now in Plattsburgh with just some clouds, but if you look in the distance there, you can see some snow showers still in the area. Temperatures are a little bit too warm for a lot of this to accumulate in the valleys. We're currently in the mid to upper 30s, 37 Burlington, 36 Middlebury, also 37 in Rutland and Bennington. But as you head into the higher elevations, that's where we have the greatest chance to pick up at least a couple inches of snow. We'll show you the accumulation map in just a second. But first, a look at Storm Tracker, show you where the snow is still falling. It's mainly in the northern Champlain Valley, and I think it is stretching into the Northeast Kingdom as well. Very light stuff, but we'll be watching this little band that's moving towards Swanton and Richford, you know, in case it does pick up. But the overall trend is it's not too heavy. It may drop your visibilities a little bit, and this is going to continue through the rest of the day today into the overnight. I do think it's drier on Tuesday, the clouds lingering overhead, but then some changes as we head into the midweek. It turns sunny and also a little bit colder, and it's not a lot colder. We could easily be in the single digits this time of year for highs, but we'll be dropping into the 20s for a couple of days in the middle of the week and then getting right back into the low 30s for Friday. Keep in mind the average high this time of year is 27 degrees. So still warmer than average for the near term and it's going to be finishing the week that way as well. The next 12 hours, I think it's more in the way of clouds for the Champlain Valley, but we'll introduce the chance for a few snow showers in the overnight temperatures falling through the 30s. I think we do drop a little bit below 30 degrees tonight, at least in parts of the Champlain Valley. This is what it looks like on Futurecast. I think if you're heading into the higher elevations for your evening commute, you may want to watch out for a few more snow showers, certainly a forecast to monitor for the rest of the day today. But I do think it's drier by tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we may still have a few flakes out there, but it's a mostly cloudy sky. And by later in Tuesday, I actually think we end with just a little bit of sunshine, and that sets us up for what's going to be a very bright Wednesday. Certainly a sight for sore eyes at this point. In terms of how much additional snow we're expecting, you know, not a ton, maybe a dusting to an inch in the valleys. And as you get higher in elevation, we'll call it one to four inches. And some spots like Stowe, Jay may peak above the four inch mark, maybe getting up to six inches, but not a major event that we're in right now. You know, just keep it slow on the roads if you do run into any of these showers and you'll be totally fine. Again, the sunshine returning by Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures going back into the 20s, but we do finish the week in the 30s and we're watching the chance for a little more snow on Groundhog Day and looking like we'll hang on to the 30s even as we head into early February.